Hey, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good Sunday morning, afternoon. It is Earthmaster here, August 12th, 2018, about 1018 a.m. on the west coast here, where it's still very, very smoky from all the wildfires. Uh, about two hours ago, earthquake uh, earthquake happened up in Alaska, northern Alaska region there. A 6.4 earthquake striking uh, well, well into, well north of um, our area here in California into portions of northern Alaska. You can't really see it here on this map just due to all the uh, clutter of aftershocks. I'm going to show you guys over here on another map exactly where this took place at. Um, see if I can get it over here, which it worked. Uh, took place right up here. You can see the, the amount of activity occurring up here from this rather large 6.4 earthquake. Uh, did not trigger any type of tsunami, of course. This was well inland. Um, we got the Beaufort Sea up here, uh, Northern Slope, and also the Brooks, Brooks Range down here right in this area, this little cluster of earthquakes. You can see the 6.4 at a depth of 9.9 .9 kilometers according to the USGS website. No doubt uh, the folks, I'm sure there's, I remember when, when I was up in Alaska, I was thinking about checking out this area next time I visit uh, that region because I was down around the Fairbanks and Anchorage area. Didn't quite get this far up north, but I definitely want to check it out next time I go up there. Quite a few uh, small little communities and whatnot uh, in that area, beautiful area. But I'm sure the folks that are up there uh, felt that earthquake uh, a couple hours ago, just about two hours ago here. Um, take a look at the Did You Feel It responses and see, like I say, it's not super populated up there, but there's definitely a population uh, near these towns right here. Quite a few people feeling it. Uh, so definitely some activity occurring, uh, some new activity. We haven't seen this type of activity in that region in quite some time. Here's an intensity shake map, pretty much confined to a small amount of area there. As far as the moderate shaking goes, or strong, strong, very strong shaking goes uh, right around the epicenter. Of course, very mountainous up here, uh, down in this south, south of the region here. Kind of flattens out a little bit as you go towards the uh, the sea region uh, but no doubt people definitely felt it over a fairly large area up there and uh, more specifically very strong shaking uh, confined to that section right there uh, since then we've seen quite a bit of aftershock activity uh, nothing major as far as aftershock activity goes uh, but we did see a couple fours uh, there's borderline, borderline five right there and uh, also 5.4 as well, shaking nearby at a depth of 5.5 kilometers. So uh, the activity uh, will continue for a little while from this uh, pretty large earthquake. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna see some aftershock activity for quite some time. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's kind of something new up there in that part of the world we haven't really seen too much larger earthquake activity i was mentioning that yesterday there on the live stream been somewhat quiet uh actually but uh we're seeing uh, a little bit uh of a hint of some larger earthquake activity just by that 6.4 uh, happening well north of the uh, united states up here well it is part of the united states right but uh, off of the uh, the mainland there, up there, kind of towards the Arctic Sea region, up there where it's probably still nice and cold. I wouldn't mind being up there. Nice clear air, cold. Oh, I'm just it's hot, muggy, it's humid. I'm sure you guys are tired of me complaining, but I open the door in the in the morning. Of course, I keep the air conditioner running all night. I have to uh, because of the smoke particulates and um, just the conditions here. The air quality is. 170 180 on unhealthy range and um so i opened the door this morning and over the past two weeks every time i open the door it's just nothing but a feeling of walking into a stuffy office where everybody's been breathing and and it's hot there's no air movement it's just it's humid 
Uh, smoke has pretty much created its environment, a, a weather environment out here like that, here where I live in Northern California, and it's sickening. I mean, I open the door and and get that feeling, and it's depressing. It's uh, it's sickening to see ash all over everything. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to wipe everything off yet. Um, of course, I do hose my car off because uh, it's going to blow off, or it's where I'm going to hose it off. So I just go ahead and give it a quick wash. But uh, yeah, it's just it's disgusting out here. It's it's uh, the fires are still burning. The Mendocino Complex fire is the one closest to me. Uh, the largest California or largest fire here in California history is that one that's uh, pretty close to me and it's just horrible it's just a lot of stuff burning you know there's there's asbestos type ash falling uh, from structures being burned and no telling what else is burning chemicals just all around hazardous and all of this activity from what I hear uh, is making its way if you do a little research on the news there and on Google you find out a lot of the smoke is catching the ride on the jet stream heading over to parts of Iowa even into eastern United States over here uh, and that's kind of that's kind of crazy to think that all this smoke is is uh, well affecting the rest of the country out there or portions of it so anyway enough of the smoke um, it, hopefully they get this thing out latest earthquake 5.2 just uh, west of the Fiji Islands region right here once again, this is uh, last 24 hours, 2.5 and above from the USGS, and also 2.5 and above from the EMSC, the Euro, uh, also Mediterranean data in there as well. Excuse me, my throat's still just <clears throat> not good from all the smoke. As far as that part of the country or that part of the world, uh, just we're still seeing threes, fours, nothing big, no types of. Uh, I don't want to say not interesting because, of course, any activity to me is interesting, but uh, nothing of concern at the moment in that part of the world. Right now, the focus looks to be well, northern Alaska. I did add that station onto my seismographs here. Uh, it's going to be Kavik River. That is really, really close up here to the epicenter of all the activity. In fact, I can show you on this Alaska map right here. That's going to be this station right around here right pretty much right where the activity is occurring up there in Alaska at the moment as you've seen on this map right here right right in that section right there so uh, that's going to be the closest station here picking up any kind of uh, new aftershock activity or any type of, of uh, increased activity as well it's going to be Kavik River Alaska station right here and I'll keep that up on the live uh, on the live broadcast as well so anyway, folks, um, we will jump off here for a little bit, and I uh, hope everyone's having a great day as uh, I continue my journey here in uh, Smokefield, California, where it's just, uh, I mean, I, it's, it's depressing. You know, you want to just, you want to be able to go outside and do stuff, but I can't. I have to stay inside all day. It's either that or walk around with a mask, and it's, either way, it's just nasty feeling out there. All right, folks, take care. Um, like I said, most of the activity right now looks to be northern Alaska region. Not a whole lot of activity out here on the Pacific Plate. Like we've seen before over the past week or so. Uh, but uh, it does bounce back and forth, and we do see uh, upticks here and there. But right now, the star of the show looks to be up in uh, Alaska. All right, folks, peace out. Have a great day. We'll chat to you guys a little bit later.